Hey, what's up? Today, I wanted to make a video and share how you can live stream on Peertube. And to make it happen, I'm going to assume that you have three things. And the first thing is that you're going to need an account on the Peertube instance. And so in my case, I'm using the Peertube instance uh, freediverse.com and you actually have to make sure that your peertube instance is actually enabling and allowing uh, live stream and so what you can do is that you can go into the about page here and on this page you have all the rules that your instance is allowing and so here you can see that live streaming is basically enabled and so that's something that you're going to need and the second thing that you're going to need is OBS studio and here this is a free and open source software and so anybody can use it and it's a very popular software but in the end you simply use what works for you and the third thing that you need is obviously an internet connection that is good enough for streaming all right so the first thing that we're going to do now is that we're going to set up our obs software for streaming and so for example you might want to configure different uh scenes and profiles and so for example here I have a different uh scenes that i can use for different things and so depending on what you want to do then you simply uh create the scenes with the elements that you want so for example uh do you want the webcam do you want the screen recording do you want a microphone do you want some computer sound and you kind of have to think about all these things so now that your scenes are now configured we can now go into the settings and go into uh, the output here and here in the streaming uh, just make sure that your output settings are properly configured and so for example your encoder do you want to use your GPU do you want to use your CPU and so ideally you might want to use your GPU if possible and so in my case here I'm using NVEC and so you might also want to change your bitrate to have a higher quality stream and so here I'm using this setting here and so those are all things that you might want to look into also in video one of the most common and standard resolution is 1080p which is the HD resolution and so it's usually more than enough for pretty much everything if you're not sure about your settings that you have which you can do is that you can go into the tools of OBS and you can use the auto configuration wizard here and here you simply uh, go through all the steps and you simply optimize your setting depending on what you want to do and so if for example you want to optimize for streaming then you optimize for streaming and you just go through the steps once all your settings are done and properly configured we can then go into the stream tab and select the custom service here and for now we're just gonna leave it that way and we'll come back later to it now that obs is ready what we're going to do now is simply uh set up peertube and so again just make sure that you are logged into your account from your peertube instance and so in my case i'm using freediverse.com right now and so what we can do now is that we can click the publish button in the top right corner and here we can go on go live and here depending on what you want to do you might want to select your channel you might want to select your privacy and so i'm assuming here that if you're going to uh, stream you might want to do something public or maybe something with unlisted and so then i'm assuming also that you're going to uh select normal live and so now we can go click go live and so now that we click this button we're technically not live yet this is basically creating this live video in your uh peer tube channel here and so uh, it basically simply created a video with with nothing in it okay that's simply what it did for now so now that we are in this menu now what we can do is that we can enter our stream information and so here i'm going to uh, put a title for example I'm, I'm going to title this stream test and so here I'm going to add a few titles and it simply depends on what you are actually broadcasting and so if you are broadcasting some gaming or some uh, software or some podcast then you might want to add a few tags depending on what you're doing and so here I'm just gonna add a, a few test tags and in the description you might want to add a few links a few descriptions maybe some affiliate links i don't know anything in the description and you might also want to add a category here and here since this is a technology test i'm gonna go into technology uh the license you can simply use the license of your liking uh language 
And so that's pretty much it for this. Now we can go into the advanced setting here and the most important thing with this setting here is that we can actually add a video thumbnail to your stream. And so here I already have a video thumbnail that I created just a little bit earlier. And so I'm just going to put it. So it's basically just a thumbnail saying test stream, but it's just to test it. Now that all these settings are properly configured, we can then go into the live settings. And so here in this live settings, this is where we get the most important information, which is the live URL and the stream key. Keep in mind that those things are usually quite private information, especially the live stream key. And here in Peer2, we're not able to reset this stream key. And that's because PeerTube live streaming is quite different from other uh, traditional broadcasting websites like Twitch or Kick or whatever. And that's because every time that you create a live video, then every time it's creating a new stream key. And so you don't actually have to reset it every time. And so that can be a good thing. And so now what we can do here is simply copy these uh, these information into our OBS settings. Then so the server, I'm gonna put this uh, this link and then the live stream key I'm gonna copy this and I'm also going to put it right here and then I'm going to apply and okay one last thing on peer tube is just make sure that you update all your information so that it actually updates the live stream and so as you can see right now I just updated the live stream and now all my descriptions and all my titles and even my video thumbnail are now there and if I refresh this then you can see that it also updated everything here once everything is set up and properly configured and that you're actually ready to start streaming then we can simply go back into OBS and then click the start streaming button here start streaming and then from here, OBS is going to send all this recording to PeerTube. And if we update the page, we can see that this is not working. And once you're done with the streaming, what you can do is simply stop streaming here. And PeerTube is automatically going to stop the stream. The bad thing that I don't like about streaming on PeerTube is that once your stream is over and once you stop the stream, then yes, the video and the stream that you did becomes some sort of video. And so now this video is getting published on my PeerTube channel. But the thing is that now if I want to create a new stream, a new live, then I cannot use the same settings. And so what I have to do is that I have to go back to publish, go live, start a new live and then change all these settings all over again and it's going to give me a new url for my stream and so a good thing that i love about twitch and kick and all these services is that you usually have one link uh going directly to real profile and once you're live it's always the same settings it's always the same url and all of these things and so here yes you're able to uh, live stream on PeerTube, but I just find that annoying that you have to go through all the settings all over again and that you have to copy paste a new stream key to OBS so that I can create a new stream. And so in the end, your audience and your viewers cannot always go to one link to see your stream. And because of that, if you're interested with streaming in the Fediverse and using free and open source software, then I think that OwnCast could be a good solution. And personally, I, I have not tested it, but uh, it is a free and open source software that supports the Fediverse that is specializing with uh, live videos. And so I might test it out at some point, but for now, that's kind of my video about PeerTube. And so that's pretty much it for this video. And I hope that this video was helpful to you. If this video was valuable to you, you could consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And if you have any thoughts or comments, you can leave them below because I will answer everything and your thoughts and comments could be valuable to other people. So that's pretty much it. Peace.